So I love lasagna. Like, love, love, love lasagna. It's kind of on that scale of pizza with me where I could eat it every day. Uh, rich, gooey cheese, and then you have the tomatoes. Uh, yeah, it, it makes me so happy. But the one thing, like my one hang up with lasagna is that I enter this like crazy carb coma after. Uh, and I don't like that. <laughs> so what's a recipe that we can make that has all those decadent flavors of a homely, home fresh made lasagna, but uh, it doesn't send you into that carb coma where you either need to go to sleep or sit down with another glass of wine. Two really good options, but when you have two kids and you're running around all day, uh, you kind of need things that keep you going, right? Food filled with protein and fiber and keeps you on the go. So lasagna beans is what we're making today. And this has become a family favorite. Uh, Yes, we have our lasagna nights, but we also have our lasagna bean nights. So we're starting with these beautiful light red kidney beans. I mean, just take a look at the color of these light red kidney beans grown right here in Colorado. These are dry beans. I soak them overnight and then I boil them in a little bit of garlic and onion, water and salt. So they plumped up really nicely. Um, I drain them, I strain them, and then uh, we have them here in the bowl ready to go. The reason I like these light red kidney beans for my lasagna bean dish is that it holds up really well to the creamy ricotta cheese that we're gonna put in here, but also the rich tomato sauce and all those flavors and the spices and the garlic of the Italian cooking that's all gonna go right into this bean. Uh, and because I started with dry beans, I know that the beans are really gonna hold their own too when it comes to texture in this dish. When you stick it under the broiler, these beans aren't getting mushy, they're not going anywhere anywhere, they're gonna be that bite that you need to truly make it that lasagna flavor in the bite. So right here, we have some light red kidney beans in the bowl. And to these, I am adding in some crushed red pepper flakes, some dried Italian seasoning. Those dried spices really go a long way. I mean, that's one thing I always have in my spice cabinet is that beautiful blend of Italian seasoning. Uh, and then uh, fresh garlic. Again, these are just, right? Simple kind of traditional flavors that you were going to put in a pasta sauce or anything like that. Let's do the tomatoes. So I have here some tomato sauce and I also have some diced tomatoes just from the can. My secret to this uh, specific mixture is that I love those San Marzano tomatoes. I just truly feel that they bring out uh, just so many wonderful, rich flavors. Of course, any tomato is going to work, but when you see how beautiful and creamy these are, I might give it a try sometime. All right, so how simple was that? Not a whole lot of ingredients that are going in here. My recommendation for you for this dish is to find that skillet. I have uh, two skillets that have been in the family for a while. I have this mini one where we do a lot of fun cheese dips in the oven. Uh, and then I also have the big one where I do, you know, meatloafs in and fry up pork chops or, and things like that or breakfast casseroles. So I'm using my mini one today because this might just be just for me for lunch today. So we're pouring this beautiful mixture of the light red kidney beans and the tomato and all the spices into your skillet right over here. Okay. Oh, that garlic and the Italian seasoning, yum, yum, yum. Uh, as we're kind of getting ready for the thick of summer and those summer months, this might be a really good option for you if you're really trying to stay on track, being healthy. Um, my girlfriends love this because it's really that kind of that carb-free option that gives you the flavor but cuts down on so many of the calories too. But honestly, there's so much good flavor that you're gonna say, I don't care if it's healthy, not healthy. It's, it's just a fun, different dish to make. The cheesy goodness. Okay, so into here, we're gonna plop in just spoonfuls. Now, I have taken ricotta cheese and I've mixed it up with some Parmesan cheese. Um, so really simple. And those are gonna be my little pockets of creaminess. Now, after I pour in the ricotta, I dollop it in over here. I'm gonna put this in the oven on pretty high heat for a little bit so all those flavors and mixtures come together really nicely. Then, the final topping of this is going to be, when you bring it out of the oven, it's gonna be cooked and it's gonna be bubbly and really yummy. Then that's where the really good cheesy part comes in. So I just have some shaved cheese over here, an Italian blend, Asiago and Parmesan, and really getting it into those edges. Then it goes under the broiler. And guys, when it goes under the broiler, the edges of the cheese are going to be 
bubbly brown and crispy, and that's what you're gonna probably eat first. You're probably gonna eat the edge of this first because it's gonna be so good. Uh, I will eat this just out of the skillet or sometimes, you know, if I have some decency, I'll scoop it out and put it on a plate. Maybe uh, have some bread with it if you want, but skip the bread totally. I like to garnish it with a little bit of fresh herbs, um, some basil, if you have any oregano, whatever herb is your favorite. Uh, and just a different way to enjoy lasagna. Lasagna beans, right? Hope you try it. For this recipe, visit coloradodrybeans.org and follow us on social media at Colorado Dry Beans.